I'm Stacy with Durham Parks and Recreation. Here are some tips to help you stay safe on the trail and out of the way of poison ivy, snakes, and ticks. The best way to avoid poison ivy is to learn what it looks like so you can stay away from it. You may have heard the phrase, leaves of three, let it be, or hairy vine, no friend of mine. Those are great ways to remember key traits of poison ivy. Poison ivy leaves are in groups of three and often confused with other plants like Virginia creeper, berries, or maple saplings. The side leaves of poison ivy are often more curved with notched lobes on each side, and all three leaves come to a point. Poison ivy also has a very distinct hairy vine. It's important to remember that skin reactions come from the oils in the plant, so steer clear of the leaves and the vines. If you do come into contact with poison ivy, rinse right away with cool water and wash with soap and water as soon as possible. Snakes are most active in the spring and summer. While we do have venomous snakes in North Carolina, most snakes in the state are non-venomous. Learning more about snakes and how to ID them takes away some of the mystery and can help you feel more comfortable if you do encounter one outdoors. Take some time to learn a few common species to North Carolina using a guidebook or with a quick internet search. When you're outdoors, remember snakes like shelter. Vegetation and wood piles provide great habitat. Use caution around these areas. If you do see a snake, stay out of their way and give them plenty of space to continue in the direction they're going. Snakes don't want to be around us any more than we want to be around them. Remember that snakes have an important role to play in the environment. They're a vital part of our ecosystem, and when we see them on trails or in parks, we're the ones visiting their habitat. Ticks are most active in the spring, summer, and fall, usually April through September. Here are three ways to avoid ticks. Know where they hang out. Ticks move to tall grass or shrubs when they're looking for a host. Walking in the middle of a trail when possible can help avoid contact with plants they may be hanging out on. Protect yourself. Wear insect repellent or protective clothing. There are lots of options and lots of information available to decide what's right for you and your family. Bright or light colored clothing can make ticks easier to spot and long sleeves and long pants tucked into your socks can help limit the amount of exposed skin. Do tick checks. Take breaks on the trail to check for ticks and check again when you get home and change clothes. Thanks for watching. Now get out and explore your trails.